Hi everybody. I wanted to just make a quick video about uh, our linear regression equations and why we need to include um, a beta zero, an intercept term. So why do we need a beta zero? And this is coming from something like a regression equation where we have simple linear regression y i is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x i um, i is being the individuals um, x the, the independent variable y the dependent variable something like how does years of education affect income for example Okay, and so why do we need beta zero, which is the intercept from our regression equation, sometimes called the constant as well. Okay, I'm going to show you two examples. Let's suppose our data looks like this, and this is x, and this is y. And actually, this, this one could be our, our example here, um, years of education affecting income. And so let's suppose we see generally a, an upward sloping relationship there. And, um, and I've drawn the, the observations close to each other because you can see that with, with this data, it looks like there's a pretty clear relationship. And so if we were to do our kind of normal regression equation where we estimate y and we include the, the proper beta 0, estimated beta 0, and we end up with a linear regression looking like this. Okay, now let's actually put some numbers to this. So let's suppose that we estimate, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's suppose the true, or the, yeah, the true estimated beta zero should be four. So we have four plus some uh, slope. Let's say that that slope is. 0 0.5 times x. And so what we're saying is that when x increases by 1, y increases by half. Okay, 0 0.5. But what happens if we don't include the intercept? So what if if we don't include the intercept, what we're what we're saying is that it's just going to be beta 1 x. If we don't include the intercept, by definition, we're just assuming that the beta 0 hat is equal to 0. And so if we don't include that intercept, we have to start the regression equation at, at the origin. And then remember, we still have to do the same thing uh, we're still we're still going to attempt to find a line that minimizes the sum of squared residuals. If our line was going like this, all of our residu residuals would be huge. Um, that's going to give us uh, a really a really bad a bad um, or, or in in the software it's gonna it's it's not going to give us that. It's going to find us the line. With the smallest residuals, what line is that going to be? It's going to be the one that passes through approximately the middle of the data. So that then these residuals in the middle are very small. Um, and that's going to end up being a lower sum of squared residuals than if we had something down here. And then all of the residuals would be huge. Okay, so that's going to give us our our new estimated regression equation, but if we estimate that, we can see that 
beta 0 plus beta 1x is equal to 0, but now beta 1, the slope, is much, much larger. And let's say that's instead of 0 0.5, that could be 1.5 times x. So we're going to estimate our outcomes uh, y hat as 1.5 times x, but the true value is 0 0.5. And so what's the problem here? Um, the beta 1 estimate is biased. And so if you think that it's going to have a, a small effect, or yeah, if, if the true effect is maybe quite small, if you leave out a constant term, your new estimated effect might be um, much larger than is actually the case, right? And if you're making some policy or, or putting some new procedure into place based on that, you're going to think, oh, what, I, what I'm doing is going to cause a 1.5% or 1.5 whatever increase in Y, but it's actually only going to cause a 0.5 uh, increase. Uh, and that's because you didn't include your constant term. You let beta 0 equal 0 instead of actually including the constant term in the regression, um, and you would have had a much better result. And just to show you one more kind of extreme example of why you really don't want to do this, let's suppose that the data actually looks like this. So you have a negative relationship between x and y, The true, the true uh, linear regression line should look like this, where beta 0 hat is up there, and you're going to have beta 0 hat, or let's say y, y hat is equal to say, let's say that's equal to 10, and then beta 1 is going to be some negative number, let's just call it minus two times x. So let's say that this slope has a slope of negative two. Okay, and so that's what you're going to find if you do the regression properly. If you omit the constant term, what are you going to do? You're going to force the intercept to be at zero. And the best fit, if you have to, if you have to fit a line starting at zero, that fits this data the best to minimize, you know, here we have very small residuals. That's good. But if we're starting a line here and we want to minimize the residuals, again, we can't really, if we went straight, we're going to have some huge residuals here all the way down. And that's not going to be the best fit line. The best fit line is going to go again through the middle of the data like that so that these middle ones you have smaller and then you know bigger ones on the outside but now what's happened you have y y zero is equal to zero but now you have something like plus two x um, because the slope of this line is positive meanwhile the slope of this line is negative um, so if your data has a negative relationship and you omit the constant term, not only will it be biased, again, beta 1, because this is beta 1, and this is beta 0. <clears throat> Your beta 1 is going to be biased, but it's possible that it could even be the wrong sign. So it's like, okay, uh, if we do this policy, it's going to increase our outcomes, but actually, if you do that policy, it's going to decrease your outcomes. And so, again, if you leave out that constant term, um, your effect that you're estimating is going to be wrong. It's going to be biased and potentially uh, very wrong. Not only of a different magnitude, but it could be even a different sign. Okay, uh, so that's the idea there. I just wanted to give a couple examples. Quick video on this one. Um, 
you'll see some regression softwares will give you an option to omit the constant term. For most uses, um, especially at you know the more basic levels, you're not going to have any reason you would need to omit the the constant term. So just don't don't do it. Um, okay, that's it for this video. Um, one more quick one about uh, R squared, and then uh, and and then we'll move on to uh, another series with some some more examples of using regression. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.